Happy Friday, everybody. It's Karen Auha with Karen Auha Studio. I'm in for the Art Boss today. You may notice there's a little bit different background going on today. So I'm in my studio. Um, the main reason I'm in my studio today is because the internet is actually better here. At my house, I think it's just being like brought down by the husband working at home and the kids at home. And like by the end of the day, it's just not working anymore. So I decided to come into my studio today and do my live show with the Art Boss Formula. And I'm going to just go ahead and jump on in because it is noon on Friday. I love Fridays. Fridays are great. I mean, in reality, Fridays and Saturdays and Sundays and Mondays and Tuesdays right now, they're kind of all blending together, but there's still just something special about Fridays. So thank you for spending lunch with me on Fridays. And today we are going to talk about passive income. All right. So, you know, I, what I want to know is who likes passive income? Who loves it? I mean, who wouldn't love it? Right. Um, I, I think passive income is like amazing. It's really great. But what I wanted to do today was kind of break down and start thinking about passive income, what it really means, like the myths and the realities. Right. So passive income, you know, it's those it, it kind of has this negative um, this negative perspective of like, oh, it's the get rich quick schemes and things like that. You know, you read these notes that say, I make $3,000 every day on my passive income. Well, I mean, reality or not, I'm like, the, they leave out the whole front end, which means like, it's a lot of work, right? They make it sound so easy, but the reality is it's really a lot of work. So um, like, who doesn't want passive income? Who doesn't want to be able to pay for your art supplies? Who doesn't want to be able to pay for their rent or like a really great vacation? Or let's let's just say it, like have a an income stream that provides all of the ability to make a living wage in the art industry. So my name is Karen Auha, and um, some of you may know me from the Momentum Artist. And in the Momentum Artist, I talk a lot about having multiple income streams. And I that's my number one core belief that we have to have multiple income streams. And when we pick our income streams, they need to be able to work together so that we're not like running and working over here and running and working over here. Let's pick income streams that work together, that um, the, they, they're, they're synergetic, right? So here's the best thing about the online market. The online market and online selling, it is it like doesn't play favorites. It just doesn't play favorites. Like you don't have to fill out an application and the right person to get to get into an art show, you don't have to do that. You don't have to. Um, you don't have to like uh, go to art galleries, meet the the owners, meet the the managers, and all that. I mean, you just are able to get into the game right away. There's no like pre checking and making sure. Oh, do we like? Do we like her? Do we not like her? So I love the online market for that reason, and I. I, and it would be great if that's the only income stream that I could rely on. The reality is I have multiple income streams. Just like a lot of you, I work in art shows, I work with galleries, I work with art licensing, and the online market has actually saved my little patootie during COVID. Because if you're like I am, um, I do two art shows a year. Both of them were canceled this year. Um, I do, uh, I work with galleries. You, ca you can't get into a gallery right now. They're not open. Um, and um, if it wasn't for being able to have the online market, I wouldn't be able to be continuing to make sales right now. So um, I wanted to just take a little bit of time and talk about some of the uh, lives that I've been doing. And I want to make sure that you are also going in and learning about the origin story and learning about how to um, make sure your messaging is correct so that like if you're selling online and it kind of feels icky, well, I, there's probably a key element that you need to uh, change in your message. And um, we talk about the hero story again. All right. And we talk about the fact that who is the hero in our online social media story? It's not us. It's our customer. So if you haven't watched those two videos, there's really good content there. You're going to walk away with a posting strategy and you're going to walk away with a messaging strategy. So I want you to go over there and I want you to um, it's actually inside the art boss formula and you can watch those lives. I'm going to leave them up till the end of the month. At the end of the month, I'm taking them down because I'm creating a course and I'm putting all kinds of meat around it. Right now you're getting the whys 
and you're getting the what's, but you might not be getting um, a whole lot of the how to's. I'm giving you some, you know, posting grids and things like that, which are the how to's, but it's, it's, it's a lot of hard work. There's a lot of hard work, which pretty much leads me back to the whole thing about, um, you know, it, it leads me back to the whole thing about passive income. All right. Is passive income easy? Because that's kind of what we when we're talking about passive income, we all think, oh, my gosh, this is super easy. I want passive income. I mean, like I want I, I do. I mean, raise your hand. Do you want passive income? Yeah. I, let me answer it for you. Yes, you do. But you need to understand what passive income means. You need to understand that passive income doesn't mean that it's easy. All right. It sounds super sexy. And you're like, oh, my goodness, I want to have passive income. And yes, you do. Let's just talk about what passive income is. Let's kind of take away the myths. Let's say, you know, let's go. It's not easy. That's the myth. Passive income is not easy, but passive income is worth the time you're going to spend. So let's look at some of um, other industries besides the art industry and what is passive income. I mean, some great examples are passive income are investing, um, investing in the stock market, uh, putting your money in the bank. I mean, however you want to invest, it's actually using capital to invest it. And then you get dividends, payouts, uh, the like, uh, um, like when your house appreciation, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, investing is one form of passive income. And many of you may already be doing that. So you may not even realize that you have passive income. Right. So you're like, look. I have passive income. Number two, the next one is real estate, right? That's another form of passive income. And it's when you not only just buy a house or buy property, it's when you buy a house and then you rent it out, right? So um, you have an additional house or you have a room in your house that you can rent out. So that's passive income as well. It's another great example of passive income. But is it easy? Well, I mean, I don't know, like if your air conditioning system goes out, your renter isn't fixing it. You got to get in there. You got to either fix it or pay someone to fix it. So there's maintenance to it. Right. So passive income has maintenance. Right. So number one, you need some capital. Number two, you're going to need some maintenance. And then the third form of passive income comes from like royalties. Right. So um, if you are a uh, musician, you write this really great jingle and you sell it to this big company and they play it over and over and over on a commercial and you're making like every time they play it, you're making like $1.50 and they play it 80 times a day across the United States and different channels. I mean, like thousands of times a day. Right. So that's another really exa good example of passive income. But it's not like that music just like happened, like you had to create it. And you've probably also created thousands of other jingles and songs before you found the one that was purchased by the company that is now being played all the time, right? So inside of the royalties, it's like there is a lot of work that needs to be done ahead of time. And a really great example of that, and I work with art licensing uh, companies, is art licensing. So if you want to know a little bit more about art licensing, you just pop a note below and I can share with you some available training that I have for that. But um, it's like it comes back to the fact that we need to have multiple forms of income, right? And we and if we can set up some passive ones that are working for us, that's where we're going to generate this income, right? It's again, it's not easy, not easy. It takes capital, it takes maintenance, and it takes a lot of work. But once you get them where they're working, they are magical. All right. So that is really what I wanted to do today is kind of talk to you about what the passive income is. So is it no work? No, it's a lot of work, right? So it takes time to build the capital. You have to have capital. You're either going to pay. You're going to pay. You're either going to pay with your time or you're going to pay with your money. Okay. So passive income means you're paying. Again, time or money. You're also, it's going to take time to maintain that, like that, we're going to call it a sales funnel, right? But that passive income takes time to maintain it. You're, um, you're creating it, you're tweaking it, you're, you're going, oh, it's, it's not working. Oh, there's been things that are um, happening in the market. I need to adjust my message. Oh, I have a better painting I want to put into my sales funnel. There's all kinds of things that are going to happen, right? And then you got to spend all the time to set it up. And that is where I come in. I'm 
creating sales funnels and I'm creating organic social media funnels that are bringing in income. And there's this formula to it. And the best part about it is once you break down the formula, that formula works for everyone. The thing is, you need to know how much of each component you're going to need to put into it for your own art business. So I'm in my studio today. You can see that I work with um, pretty much florals. I don't know. If I'm looking back there. There aren't tons of florals showing, but my art licensing agents right now are considered non-essential businesses. So I'm not doing as many florals because I don't have to produce them for them during the week. So I'm actually working on some stuff I don't always do. You know, I'm working on a stag back there. It's Father's Day is coming. Yeah. You don't think that like in my social media funnels this week, I'm hitting it really hard with Mother's Day. But I'm also thinking ahead, what's the next holiday or the next event that I can actually make offers, make offers to the people who are in my sales funnel. So I am going to walk you through a little visual of what a sales funnel is. Because you might be like going, Karen, what the heck does that mean? All right. So here's the thing. I'm going to give you a very generic idea of what a funnel is. And I'm using what, a, you know, I'm using a funnel, right? So this is, we're going to be um, talking more about organic funnels, right? So before I told you, you either pay with your time or your money. In an organic funnel, you're paying more, you're paying with your time, right? Most truly organic, you're not doing any paid advertising. So here's, here's what a funnel would look like. And I'm comparing it to what it would be like if you were going into an art gallery or a store and buying something. All right. So we're trying to model that within the online, right? So here's our funnel and we have future customers that are at the top. We have the people who are window, window shopping in the middle, right? And then we have people who are in the store, and then we have people who are buying, right? And they're the buyers, right? So it just, this is what it all comes down to is we're trying to create that same kind of situation that would happen if we were in a store and we're thinking we're breaking apart that process, right? So how do we get people into the funnel? All right. And again, I'm not including any advertising in this because that's actually a paid strategy and not an organic funnel. So we should be collecting emails. If you're not collecting emails of people who are buying from you, you need to be doing it. You need to be collecting emails of people who are following you on social media. And we have techniques and ways to do that. And we're going to talk more about that as well. Um, blogs. If you have a blog, you need to always be leading your blog people who follow you into your into your funnel because you want to be making offers to them. You, you're not just like telling them, you know, I have these great paintings, but you can't buy them, right? You, you want, you, potentially in your blog, you're actually educating people, but you also want to bring them to where they can actually purchase it, right? You also have network marketing. Network marketing is um, just really working with anyone else in the industry that you can, and I put cross promotion in there too, that you're cross promoting, and it's just the old fashioned way of, of marketing. So if you're at a party, and someone says, hey, Karen, what do you do? And you have your elevator pitch, right? Your standard, you know, this is what I do. And it's engaging and people. And, and so they fall into your funnel. All right. And you have your business cards or whatever old school tools that I mean, I still use them all. But you, you're this is old school marketing. Right. And but you're still putting them into your funnel. Right. And then your social media, which is the really big one that I like to focus on with our organic growth is, um, you know, hey, we don't own social media. You know, there are other people who own Facebook and Instagram and all the, you know, LinkedIn, all the different social media platforms that there are, but they allow for us to come in and control and, and harvest from it. So that's what we're doing, right? So the, we're bringing them in. Um, there's going to be people who stay out here outside the funnel. They're never going to be our customers. They're not going to like the kind of work that I do. That's fine. I don't want them in my funnel. A lot of, you know, a, a lot of the reasons we don't want them in the funnel is because even though we're doing organic, there are tools and things that we need to pay for that the, the more people we have inside like an email platform, I pay per person, right? If you don't want like my art, I don't want you in there, right? Because I don't want to have to pay for you if you're never going to buy. So we want to keep them outside but we want our future customers coming in right here we're nurturing them right then we also want our window shoppers they're more engaged they're looking and they're watching but they're staying a little bit back we want a place where we can nurture them right so 
when they're in the store, and here's the thing, we've started talking about groups, right? So inside of our social media on Facebook, we can have our personal page, our page, and now there's this new thing called groups, right? I'm telling you, groups are the thing. You're gonna wanna do it, and we're gonna talk more about why it's really important and how to set up your group, but it's, you want, you wanna, you wanna be creating groups. Here's the reason you wanna be creating groups. When people come to your groups, they have you have you can make them ask questions or answer questions like what's your email address? Boom, we've got an email, right? Boom, if you haven't been collecting it, we've got an email. Um, and um, if you are, um, if so, they're in your group, right? You can even ask them what kind what kind of art do you like to buy? You kind of want to have them select a list because if they're like I like cartoons Karen and I don't do cartoons so you know there I, I need to know if they're really going to be one of my customers or not they still can come in and shop maybe they're like oh my mom's gonna like one of your birds or my dad's gonna like your buck or you know whatever it is that I'm gonna let them in but it's good to know and kind of start filtering them through because within a group I can curate my audience right so now basically this is my Facebook group. I have future customers, I have window shoppers, I have people in my store and I have buyers. I am constantly nurturing these people, right? Because I'm going to be making offers to them. And um, I'm going to share, share with them what my new work is. I'm going to make it easy when they decide to purchase, to purchase. So that's an organic funnel, right? We didn't talk anything about paid advertising, but I wanted to just give you an overview of this organic funnel. This is inside of the uh, Facebook group for Art Boss. I downloaded a PDF and you can fill out all this information, but I just want you to think about that whole concept of a funnel, all right? It may be a little overwhelming for you, or you might be like, Karen, I got it. I do it all the time, it's not a problem, right? But what we're gonna do, inside the art boss formula is we're actually creating offer funnels right and um, the with the organic funnel we're making all of our offers in our group remember this is a smaller group of people who are highly engaged in us when i'm working and i do a post and i may do a post to my personal facebook group my personal facebook group has five thousand people who follow me we're friends Right. I mean, we either have something in common or they're friends. I don't have 5,000 friends, but I have 5,000 people who I'm interested in what they're doing and they're interested in what I'm doing. Right. If I do a post on my personal page, my reach is maybe 7%. And you do 7%. So that's what um, of a thousand people, that's you know, it's 300 people who may, may, um, well, that they'll get my post inside of their their stream but will they get even see it or will they notice it I, i'm not sure all right i have a business page that's called karen Uha studio i have 1500 people in there i will put that same post in there right so now my reach is still about seven percent i'm looking at maybe 70 people who will have my information in their feed again i don't know if there are people who want to buy my art or not because facebook gets to pick those people i don't and so I might have 15 people that click and I can tell that they've seen it, right? Now, my group, I have a group called Art Moxie. If you wanna go and follow me there, go ahead and follow me. So you can kind of just watch what I'm doing, right? Follow me on my personal page, Karen Spinnenweber Auha. Follow me on my business page, Karen Auha Studio. Follow me in my group, that's called Art Moxie by Karen Auha. I have, like, I started it, three weeks ago, I have right under 100 people, okay, under 100 people. But of those 100 people, almost 50% see every post that I do. 50%, boom. I'm like, I already have a better reach and more people seeing it in my little tiny group than I do in the 5,000, in that 1,500 um, page, right? Um, it's so it's like amazing. And um, over the last three or four days, I've been hitting it really hard with Mother's Day. Mother's Day, the only, I mean, all my sales have come from my group. I mean, I get three or four a day and you know, they're not always huge sales. Sometimes they're original paintings. A lot of times they're reproductions, but I'm nurturing that group, right? So here's, here's the offer funnel. This is what I'm doing inside my group. Everybody is in my group, these hundred people, right? I also have an email list of people who want to purchase art from me, right? So I'm also saying to my email people, Hey, 
You want to see me live once a week? You want to see the new artwork I have? You want to see inside of my studio? You want to get the only coupons in town that I offer to any of my clients? You need to be at Art Moxie. So I'm emailing everybody and I'm letting them know, hey, there's Mother's Day specials. Boom, I'm putting them into the funnel. I do pay for ads. So, you know, this is you know, my offer funnel does include um, advertising strategy. But for right now, I want to keep it to organic. But I want to let you know, you want to grow faster. You want to grow bigger. Advertising is going to be one of the important things to include into your funnel. But for right now, if you just use your email list and your social media, right? So I'm still going out to my personal page of 5,000 people and I'm saying, hey, guys, here's what I'm doing. You know, I'm it's engaging post and going, you need to be an art moxie, right? And I'm pointing them there. So for Mother's Day, I'm giving away a free painting. Inside of my personal page, I'm going, congratulations, you're almost there. You're almost on your way to a free painting. You just need to join Art Moxie because only members of Art Moxie are entered into the free raffle, right? So I'm constantly putting, just inviting them, right, to my group. I know sometimes this is where we get kind of like itchy and icky, right? I don't want to sell. Flip your mindset and start thinking about selling isn't as much of icky as if you're making offers, right? If you're inviting people somewhere, it's like, would you be upset if you got an invitation to a party, even if you really didn't want to go, that you'd be like, oh, I can't believe they're trying to sell me to come to their party. No, it's an invitation, right? So I'm inviting people into my offer funnel and for my organic, for my organic reach, right? Um, it's like, it's amazing. It's 50% reach compared to my other pages that are barely 7%, right? It's 50% reach to people I know who want to buy art or people that I know want art, right? So, um, you know, the, 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 the better the group is, the more, the more sales you'll make. But here's where I want to kind of start getting into this little number down here, 3%. This is where the math comes, right, guys? So we're sitting here and we're going, sounds great. I've got, I've had a Facebook page for years. Yeah, me too. Build it up to 1,500 people, right? Um, you know, I've, I've been doing this forever and I can only get a couple sales. Well, here's the thing, 3%. You need to remember this. If you don't walk away with anything else today, here's the math you need to remember. For every time you make an offer, only about 3% of your audience is ready to buy. 3%. Um, there are industries that it's higher. Um, if you have been really nurturing your group, it can be higher. If it's a um, key time of the year, like a holiday, or you can tap into, like for me, Mother's Day and Valentine's Day are always really good because I have so many floral paintings. So um, I get more than 3% certain times a year. But every time you make an offer, if you can have the expectation that only 3% of the people who are in your group are ready to buy, that's really helpful. All right, because we can reverse engineer the numbers. All right. So with the 100 people that I've put into like invited into my group over the last three weeks, right, 3% are going to buy with every offer that I make. Not every day, right, but every offer, right. So right now I'm making offers a couple times a day. I'm going, hey, like here's a really great one. I know this is my most successful selling painting that I have. Ooh, it's like, there we go. It's a little bird, all right? It's not my favorite painting, but it is my favorite painting because it's my best selling piece. I'm going, I, like I have three pillows and I was like surprised that they hadn't sold. So I'm like, oh, I have three pillows. Once they're gone, they're gone. My vendor, it, you know, like between us, my vendor, I couldn't get them anymore. So I'm like, and I open up and shared, I can't get them anymore. Within five minutes, one was sold. Within an hour, they were all gone, right? So it's about making those offers inside of this group of people who are expecting you to be making offers, right? If you're giving away free paintings, they know they know that you're that you want to move your art. At minimum, they know that, right? So they're and and when you're nurturing that group and you're meeting their pain points. So a lot of times that's where I'm posting images of, or videos of me painting something. And I explained, hey, what's the difference between a reproduction and a hand embellished reproduction? Well, I hand embellished one of these for them so that they could see it. And they could see what they were getting when they got a hand embellished reproduction, right? So this little group that we're building, we're nurturing that group and we're creating the funnel right where we're putting the people who are on email list make sure they're getting to the funnel 
We're paying for some advertising. And if you're not ready to pay for advertising, it's totally fine because I don't pay a lot for advertising right now. Um, I'm working towards it because here's the deal. You pay with time or money, right? Um, I'm working really hard in a lot of my other income streams. So I don't have as much time to nurture this whole funnel organically anymore. So I'm starting to do um, paid, right? And then social media, right? Again, what's the difference between social media and paid? Well, they're pretty much the same thing, except for one, you have to pay ads. And then the other one is learning some tricks and tools and ways that you can um, build your like take control and find some of the um, the people who are in social media and bring them into your group right you're inviting them into your group I mean, you can bring them in right and you can put them in there but you really want people who are interested in your art to be in there and if they're not interested in your art you don't want them in there again the time and resources that we have to take in order to sell comes from the time that we get to create right so our industry is slightly different than others or maybe it's not slightly different but because we're small business owners we have to not only create but we have to promote so that is another reason why creating some sales funnels and spending the time to get them up and running and get them powerful is really important so here's where I'm going to invite you to come to the art boss formula um, boot camp right so we're really starting to dig into um, the boot camp and it's going to be a free boot camp. All right. It's going to be five days long. It's going to be 30 to 40 minutes every day for five days. And I know that a lot of you are starting to ask me questions about the boot camp. And you're like, Karen, tell me more. Like, what, what are you going to talk about? What are the items? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. But here's what I can tell you. I'm going to have the schedule next week and I have a date now. June 15th is a Monday. We're going to start the boot camp on that day. If you can't watch it live, don't worry. It's going to be a re like replay. I'm going to do watch parties in the evening because I know that not every single artist is working all day long on their art that sometimes you have to grab time in the evenings and on the weekend. So we're going to be doing replays in the evening. But I wanted to give you a little bit of an idea. I mean, like of what's going to be in there because I have the course. I just don't have the boot camp like layered out day one. We're talking about this day two, day three. But here's what I'm going to tell you, right? We're going to break it apart. We're going to break apart selling online down into the formula, into math, right? So what if we're missing out on an income stream simply because it seems too hard, right? If we haven't learned the lesson over COVID and over the this quarantining, quarantining that, you know, we can't, we can't rely on just one income stream and we have to make sure that our income streams add value to one another. For me, my two main income streams are art licensing. So I create all this work, deliver a digital file and have a lot of original paintings that I have to move. And so online selling just makes sense for my business. Um, if I hadn't already had that online selling up and running and had the base to it going, um, I would not have any income because Art licensing is a non-essential business. It will come back. I mean, I'm still painting for them, but I'm also doing some of the things that I, I haven't done in forever. Like, again, that stag and I'm doing, let me see if I can see, I'm doing a, um, a, like a Key West inspired piece. And, you know, I'm doing things that I wouldn't be able to do for my art licensing agent. So, you know, basically I'm going to be breaking down the formula. Your formula is going to be the same as mine, but the inputs are going to change. Right. Because your business looks a little bit different than mine. And this is really going to work well for visual artists and for sculptors. Um, if you're in performing arts, I think you're still going to be able to um, to take some of this formula and use it. But I'm going to I'm going to say that, that you might not be the person who's going to have the, the quickest, fastest path to that that passive income, because I'm really sharing what I know specifically to the visual arts. So I just wanted to put that out there and let you guys know that. Um, but like, you're more than welcome to come in because here's what I'm like promising, right? So in the boot camp, we're going to be breaking apart the whole online selling formula. And again, I don't, next week I will have the actual, um, the schedule and I'll have, it'll include the schedule, the bonuses, it'll include um, all of the time that we're going live, the replays, all that kind of stuff, right? And even some opportunities to talk to me one-on-one -on -one through Zoom calls, right? All that's gonna be set up. 
here's what I can tell you that we're going to talk about, right? Here's the overview. We're going to talk about what funnels are because that's what we're doing. We're creating sales funnels, right? And we're going to talk about what they are, how they work and why you want to be using them. We're going to talk about our audience. We're going to talk about how important it is to sell like live like this. Um, I'm doing like when you look inside of my art moxie group, you're going to see that I'm doing a lot more live coaching, teaching, um, solving their problems. Like you have boring walls. Here's the way to do it. You don't know how to measure your wall. Here's a guesstimation process. Like it's, it, there's a, a teaching component. Then there's also like, they want to see us paint and create the people who are following in our groups. They're investing in us. So I'm spending time, uh, like videoing and doing Facebook lives of me painting again, educating the process of before when I talked about, you know, a hand embellished re reproduction versus just a reproduction. I'm sorry, the light is really horrible. Like I just painted and showed them what they're getting. Right. And I had people go, Oh my gosh, I never knew what a hand embellished reproduction was. This is so great. Right. Um, and then we're also going to be talking about the overview of how you make offers. Right. And offers include your messaging, sharing a part of your story that go back and watch those videos that I did the last two weeks because we talked about the origin story, how to come up with postings that are engaging and social media posting that's engaging and then how to take our message and flip it so that so that as we're delivering our message it doesn't feel icky anymore. Right. You need to watch those because that's really important as well. We're going to be digging into that even more. Like what is an offer? How do you create it? Right. We're going to also um, be setting like talking more like comparing the organic funnel versus the paid funnel. Right. Really, the goal is no matter where you are, um, if you're just starting, everybody starts with making sure their organic funnel is working properly. So that's step one. Step two, after your organic funnel is working, then you can go into your paid. If you're ready to go fast, you're ready to go fast. We can go fast. We can start adding the um, advertising on top of that, right? So I will be talking about how advertising impacts your growth and your selling strategies and how you can go a little bit faster. So if you guys are interested mark your calendars that boot camp is coming you're going to walk away with everything you need to know about sales funnels so that you can like start noodling them and figuring them out right you can come along with this come along with me on this journey and i've been working with this for over a year and i have the formula down you come with me or you can you can live in the free zone right you can live in that free zone or you can live in that area where you're going OK, I'm just not ready yet to like dig into this. I want to figure it out on my own. That's totally cool. All right. Because at the end of the boot camp, at the end of the boot camp, I'm going to invite you to come with me. I'm going to share with you not just the overview. I'm going to be here to walk you through the steps. I'm going to be creating a program, not just a course, not just something uh, you read it and you try to figure it out a program which I'm training and providing opportunities every week to talk to me about strategy and where you're getting stuck, right? So that is, that's where we're going. That's where we're going with all this. I just want other artists to be able to make a living wage in the art industry. I've started like, I'm a, I'm a math slash artist person. All right. I love painting. I love creating, but I also love promoting and I love just like I know that that our artwork changes people's lives. Tell me you haven't delivered a painting where they get teary eyed. All right. I mean, is there any other there aren't very many products that can do that. Tell me that, you know, when you provide a product and you see it on their wall and it's beautiful, that it doesn't provide beauty and calm and joy to them. So I just want everyone to be able to not only just create because that's not that's not wh what I'm what I'm promising to teach you here I'm not going to teach you your craft that I mean if growing craft is important but that's not what I'm doing here I'm taking the other side of it and I'm going what do you need to do to have income and can it be met like something that it's more passive income right so you spend a lot of time creating it setting it setting it up but now you're just maintaining and managing it you're just tweaking it right wouldn't it be wonderful to have monthly income that allows for you to continue to do what you love to do every day i don't know about you i do not want to go back to the corporate america I, ever i don't ever want to do it i spent two decades there and i'm like 
I love this and I want to do this forever and I can't be the only one. I know I'm not alone. So if you by chance want to go faster, right? You want to go faster. You don't want to wait till June 15th. Right now, I'm just going to offer to you if you want to come with me while like in this next month, I have a mini focus group. I have a group of people who I'm like working with them and I'm talking them through this whole process so that in a month from now, it's like we have I have that package put together. I'm getting that feedback from people because I know what I need to grow fast, but I might not know what you need to grow fast. If that's something you're interested in, I just need you to like leave me a note. You can message me. You can leave me a note here. You can say, I'll go faster. All right. Because I'll include you into in that focus group. All right. Where you can go faster. Um, I'm like, I'll be totally honest. Everybody in that group is in a paid program that I already have set up. All right. So when I, I will put you in one of those paid programs so that you can get this before everybody else. You'll get it a month before everybody else will get it. In return, you'll get it at a lower price. In return, I'm gonna expect that you give me feedback and you're helping me like, make this course stronger so that when it gets rolled out in June, it is ready to go, all right? So that's what I'm promising you, okay? So I'm super excited to get started. It is Friday. Happy Friday. Like I said, right now, Friday kind of feels the same as Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday, but it's Friday and it is Mother's Day this weekend. So for those of you who are mothers, happy Mother's Day. And if you are interested, I have a couple of these left. I put an order in and it didn't come in until like a day ago, which meant that I wasn't able to get these out until after um like the shipping deadlines happen. But if you would like one of these eight by eight reproductions, they're $30. All right. You can get them on my website at karenauha.com. If you want to just do it like between you and me and Venmo or something like that, then you leave a message as well. Right. But we'll get it done. So I will be going into my art moxie by Karen Auha today. And I will be selling these as well, like that last minute. I also have gift certificates. So if you want to see me operating live within my own art group, then go, go on over to Art Moxie. All right. And it's, again, Art Moxie. Moxie spelled M-O-X-Y. Uh, I don't know. We'll find out if it was the right group name or not. I can change it later. So again, don't get stuck on things like names because you can always change it. Right. So um that is just something I want to invite you over to Art Moxie and just kind of see how I'm working through nurturing my group, making offers and sharing what I know that will help fix a problem that that group may have. Right. So, again, happy Friday. Have a great one. I'm super excited to get started. Stay here in our in the Facebook live. I will always be this group will be forever more, right? I'll be sharing free information, right? It's gonna be really more about the hows, I'm mean, sorry, the whys and the whats, a little bit of how, but for those people who want more like, like interaction, uh, they, they you, you want me to help you walk through and strategize with you, then you're gonna wanna come to the boot camp on June 15th. Again, if you wanna go a little faster, you just let me know because I can get you into one of those groups that we're going a little bit faster. And I will, um, I'll see you next Friday. Oh, one last invitation. I also do on Monday mornings, it's called Monday Morning Mindset. And I put the information here and in Momentum Artists. And it's really just a mastermind group. It's a tribe of people. We kind of start the week with uh, sharing or the, the meeting with sharing our uh, opportunities and our challenges for the week. And we all kind of share, we give input back and forth. And then there may be something in there that we can all talk about and kind of hyper focus on and figure out how to fix a problem. So if you're interested in that, keep your eye open for the Zoom call. It's a free Zoom call. It's only 40 minutes long because I don't pay for Zoom. I don't pay for anything. This is part of my business model. I don't pay for it until it's going to make me money. All right. So I have the 40 minute Zoom call that I do on Monday mornings. It's called Monday Morning Mindset. I give you guys the link to the Zoom call inside of the Monday Morning Mindset. All right. Hey, you guys have a great one. Happy Mother's Day. Bye.